welcome back. I don't know if I'm gonna lump this video in with, just lost my hat, and with the last one where I was out herping at night or not, but today I've got something a little bit different going on. Um, it's finally October, it's finally fall, and it's actually starting to feel like fall in the air now. You have to excuse me, <coughs> I have a little bit of a cold still. But uh, anyway, today I'm heading out to look for the thing everybody searches for on, in October, and that is hognose snakes. So I'm heading out to the sand hills right now. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot of sand hill herping lately because it's just been so hot. So now that it's finally cool enough, I'm getting out a little late, but I'm gonna give it my best shot anyway because I love hognose snakes. I really hope we can find one, and I've never found a southern hognose. So today we're looking for the cymus. Let's get out there. All right guys, so what I'm about to show you really ticks me off. I just moved both these snakes off the road. They were both hit by cars, okay? These are two beautiful timber rattlesnakes. This one's obviously very dead, and I thought this one was too, but uh, he or she is just stunned and definitely has some damage around the cloaca and the belly, but still has some life in her. So I'm gonna actually see what I can do. I may actually try to bag the snake and take it back to my house because I have means of keeping it and giving it water and, you know, trying to get it back to health. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything for it, but, excuse my voice, I have a cold. But it's a beautiful snake. I'm going to see what I can do, give it the best shot I can, Ooh. and we'll see what happens. It's not a joke, man. Trains are a problem for herpers. All right, everyone, so we finally made it to the land of sand. Um, I did see one DOR snake on the way here, which unfortunately was an Eastern Diamondback. I don't have a lot of time since I did get a late start, but I'm gonna give it my all and see if we can turn something up here pretty soon. I would be happy with a Diamondback or even like a Coach Whip or something like that, but uh, we'll see what happens. Welcome to the video, guys. I know it started out as a little bit of a downer, but stay tuned because the following day after this, I embarked on one of my favorite herping expeditions I've ever been on. I went up to North Georgia to meet up with the Orient Society and we saw some awesome things, so stay tuned. All right, so I've resorted to hiking instead of road cruising because I wasn't finding much at all. Hognose is still the, the name of the game, but I've not seen any snake despite the weather feeling amazing what's up guys I just got off work I'm heading home now uh, in just a few hours I'm gonna be headed out to the mountains of North Georgia to do some herping uh, it's gonna be a great time I'm hoping for some awesome finds and uh, it's gonna be great <laughs> Georgia, it's time to head out and find some herps. That's a lifer. <laughs> this is probably a lifer for me because it's southern gray cheeked. Ah. <laughs> But you can find some of them here with spots and some of them without Yeah. Spots. You want a picture of them? It's a big ring neck. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, I'll get you, Brendan. It looks like another gray cheek. Can't they regrow it? Yeah. I like how you guys all That's take an pictures of the animal and I take pictures of you taking pictures. My first herping event was last 
the PYNH 13, and I had never <laughs> hung around with herpers before. <laughs> and so then we caught a coach whip and uh, what else? I think it was just a little corn snake. Yeah. So we just took, and to watch everybody huddled Ooh. around it. <laughs> the snake on, paparazzi. It was, it was, yeah. There was nothing I had ever seen before. So. <laughs> <laughs> Three gray cheek yeah. salamanders. I love that. Ooh, Did somebody get a good photo of those before? Right, we just found lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a teeny bopper F. Mute. <laughs> oh, it's tiny. Nice grab. As the day got warmer, we shifted our attention to the rocky outcrops on the side of the mountain. Our target was now timber rattlesnakes and copperheads, but we didn't have much luck. I think it's another little gray cheek. He's going ham. The next reptile turned out to be this beautiful eastern box turtle. I had no idea they lived at these elevations, but this guy was found all the way at the top of a mountain. Nice. That's that was my other thing I wanted to see besides a milk snake. Nice. I'm gonna let this one, do we wanna move that anymore? Or? That thing looks like a lure. Both the red salamander and spring salamander were high on my list of species I wanted to see this trip. So you can only imagine my excitement when we flipped this beautiful red animal under that boulder. Next, we shifted our attention to small, swift moving streams to look for some of the more aquatic species. The black-bellied salamander turned out to be one of the most common species we found. And believe it or not, they're actually known to prey upon other salamanders. Now that's a black belly. That's a black belly. <laughs> After photographing that waterfall for a bit, we headed back down to the seepage areas to try to find more of our target species. What do you think we'll find in here? Well, kind of species. this is the kind of place where you see more tend toward red salamanders and three line salamanders. Kind of okay. Species. And there was a, I just saw a random frog hop across them. You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> Solid, One of the species I wanted to see this trip was the queen snake, a small snake that feeds on crayfish. However, it was pretty cold and rainy at this point, so most everyone gave up hope on finding reptiles. Except me, I did manage to turn up this small ringneck. Snake! No? Ringneck number two for the day. Is this just... snake poisonous? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> And now we're headed to eat at the Orient Society headquarters. So it should be interesting. The visit to the Orient Society headquarters definitely did not disappoint. We got to see and touch animals we normally wouldn't get to in the wild, such as this eastern indigo snake and Gila monster. Not to mention the Louisiana pine snake, which could very well be the rarest snake in North America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Ben Staganga was kind enough to tube this beautiful timber rattlesnake for us to see up close. This procedure is done in the field to collect data on these animals and it doesn't hurt them at all other than maybe being a little stressful. After dinner, Ben invited us to go to one of his favorite salamandering spots. This mountain was absolutely covered with red legged salamanders, a species I had never seen before. Where's the guy with the red legs? Oh, you got him? Yeah. How sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, am I on one? <laughs> oh wow, that, oh. that one's really good. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna get it forward. That's a cool salamander. Two line, in C2. Now which one is it? Springing. <laughs> it's teleports. <laughs> yeah, it's that salamander locomotion. Yep. Using that tail. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, that's oh, a nice beautiful. two. Uh, that's Blue Ridge for sure. Glow a limb. Glow a limb. The limb. Oh, the limb? Uh-uh. What? That limb. This limb. I was like, what is that? Okay. Okay. Wow. All right, so that confirms that Blue Ridge Two Lines is here. Doesn't necessarily confirm that that one was, but break up on the tail. Or the stripe the break up <laughs> on the tail. That tail. That's it's a really crazy long, long tail. Right, so I keep seeing these slugs thinking they're salamanders. And then right over here, there's one sticking to the side of the tree. Should ask Carlos tomorrow if what he thinks would be here. After looking for red leg salamanders for a while, we finally moved on, and Ben brought us to one of the coolest spectacles I've ever seen while out salamandering. It was a wall of rock that was leaking and absolutely covered in salamanders of various species. There's usually black belly on this. Um, so, yep. There's one there. There's one guy there. Wow. Here you go. Oh, wow. They're small. There's one there. Right there, they're everywhere. There's two together right there. Up here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What, this one? He's got gills. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because there's another one coming out. Uh, there is a part two that I filmed, so I'm editing it right now, and it should be out before too long. So stay tuned for that, guys. I had a great time filming this, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching it just as much as I enjoyed being there. Peace out.